Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do shadow knitting and we're going to work on this project. Um, it's a knitted dishcloth using cotton yarn. Um, the concept of shadow knitting or illusion knitting as it's sometimes known um, has been around for a while. I only discovered it recently and I absolutely love this and so I thought I'll do a video on it to show you how to do it. Um, now this sample that I'm showing you here, or this project, it's a very simple um, shadow knitted pattern of a checkerboard pattern. And the way it works is um, the knitted piece, when you look at it straight on, you don't really see a pattern. And I'm hoping this is getting captured in the video, but um, when you look at it just straight on, you don't really see a pattern. But when you look at it at an angle, like a 45 degree angle or so, you start to see the pattern emerge. And so here you can see it's a checkerboard pattern. Now I, I knit this dishcloth in a couple different um, color combinations. Now typically for this you want to use contrasting colors like I've done here with the orange and the blue. Um, then I tried one with a lighter blue and a darker blue shade. And you can see, let me move this out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. Um, you can see that in this one, the, the checkerboard is visible, but it's it's not quite as nicely visible as the, the highly contrasting colors. So I would suggest using highly contrasting colors, um, one lighter, one really dark, and um, and if you want to work on this on this pattern. So I've provided the details of the dishcloth pattern um, in the in the description field below and I've provided the, the smaller variation as well. I was just using this up to or using up some old yarn to um, to work on these samples and so this is a great way to use up um, some leftover cotton yarn if you've got and you don't have to make a dishcloth uh, although I'm showing you the, or provided the dishcloth pattern but you could use this and just keep knitting and make a scarf out of it if you want with just regular yarn um, instead of cotton yarn or use cotton yarn to make the scarf it doesn't matter but I think it looks really pretty and in the past, I've done checkerboard um, type patterns using a different style of knitting um, called intarsia. I'd made these little coasters. And as you can see here, the checkerboard is visible straight on because it's knit in the checkerboard style. And I'll do a video on this in the, in the future on this style of knitting. But today, let me show you how to do shadow knitting. Now, this is very simple. I would put this at a basic level. Uh, because all you need to know is how to knit and purl. If you know how to knit and purl, you can do this. You can make this project. So I've provided the details in the description field, but for this demonstration, I'm only casting on, um, I've casted on 20 stitches. Let me just count that to make sure. Yes, I've cast on 20 stitches. So I've cast on half the number of stitches that you would need for that, um, for that dish cloth, for the bigger dish cloth that I just showed you. And I'm gonna use these two colors. So this is gonna be my, my lighter color, and then this is gonna be my, my darker color. So you wanna cast on, the stitches in the lighter color. Um, you can designate them as main color and and contrasting color. Now you're gonna join the, the darker color or the contrasting color in the next step. So to join it, you're, you're just gonna leave about a four to six inch tail. Just make a loop like that. You don't have to tie it. And the very first row, it's just gonna be a knit all the way through. So insert your needle as if to knit, just hook on this loop and knit. Okay, you've joined that yarn and now you're going to continue knitting. Make sure you have the working yarn in your hand and not the tail and keep knitting for the whole row. Now after you've knit a few stitches, just to make things a little bit tighter, you can come in here and tug on these, these yarns and take the two tails and tie a knot or two if you want, just to make it, oh, just to make it um, tighter and make it stay in place. So I'm just going to do a single knot right here. Okay, so I'm going to keep knitting this row, just a regular knit all the way through. Oh, I think I might have dropped a stitch. Well, let's see. I'll do a quick count after we've done this one. And hopefully, I have not dropped a stitch. Now the one thing about this pattern um, is that it looks better when the, the gauge is tighter. The checkerboard is visible a lot better when the gauge is tighter. So if you would normally, so for instance, for dishcloths normally with this yarn, I, I knit with a US a size seven needle. Um, I would actually go one size lower. So for those dishcloths, I've actually knit them with a US size six needle. 
All right, so let's make sure I have all my stitches. Yes, I do, okay. So the very first row is just a knit all the way across in the contrasting color. And then you're gonna turn. And now in this row, we're gonna knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four, okay? So you're still working with that contrasting color. And you knit four, and then purl four. Now for the dishcloth, the bigger dishcloth, it's actually knit eight, purl eight um, is the pattern. But here for this small sample demonstration, I'm just doing four stitches in the interest of time. So knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four, and you're gonna keep doing that till you get to the last four stitches. And the last four stitches will just be a knit four. So alternating knit four, purl four till you get to the end. And you end in a knit four. And then you turn your work. Don't let these double full, double pointed needles fool you. Um, you don't need double pointed needles. I'm just using these for the demonstration. Okay. And that's, those are your first two rows. Now you're gonna go back to work with your main color. So the, the main thing you wanna remember is you always wanna carry your color forward in the same way as you keep going through the rows, that way you get a nice neat edge. So to do that, take the, the, the color that you were just working with, kind of hold it towards the back and find your, your contrasting color, which is right here, and bring it sort of from the front, okay? So now for the, for the row three, contrasting color, also it's a knit all the way across. So you're gonna take your, or main color rather, whatever, the lighter color. Um, you're going to knit it all the way across. So rows one and rows three are just knit all the way across, but just with the different colors. So as you can see, the pattern is really simple. So we're just going to knit this all the way across. And a little bit of tighter knitting actually helps for this. Again, the tighter the gauge, the tighter the, the knitted work, um, the pattern is going to emerge, the, the checkerboard pattern is going to emerge a lot better. Okay. And then flip it. Turn your work. Now, for the row four, with this color, it's going to be the opposite of what we did in, in row two. So it's going to be purl four, knit four, purl four, knit four. Okay. So we're going to do purl four. and knit four. And so in doing this, since we have 20 stitches and we're doing four stitches in each section, we're gonna end in a pull four. So keep doing pull four, knit four till you get to the last four stitches for this sample. And I end in a pull four. Again, depending on which dishcloth you do, you're gonna do um, which size dishcloth. If you do the smaller one, it's blocks of seven stitches. The larger one is blocks of eight stitches. All right? And now, these are the four rows that you'll keep repeating for at least a couple more times. Okay, and again, the pattern tells you the details. So now, you to go back to your darker color, again, hold this color that you just finished towards the back and bring this over from the top and again row one, now with this darker color, is just a knit all the way across. So you're gonna knit all the way across and just be sure you don't split your yarn like I just did. And tuck on this to tighten this up. And you're gonna knit all the way across, okay? Now, let me get my sample to show you what's, what happens exactly with this. So this is, this is what's going on here. As you're knitting, actually this is the start. As you're knitting, each of these rows, because we're doing a knit for one color and a purl for the other color, this is what happens. And the rows that you have, these, these purl bumps on, on one side, that your checkerboard's gonna be predominantly that color when you, when you can actually see the pattern, right? So after you've done one section and you wanna flip the checkerboard, you have to essentially just flip the pattern to those colors so that 
um, in the next section, right above this one, the pearl bumps are going to be in the opposite color of the knit bumps. And then you're going to have contrasting checkerboard um, pattern. And so again, the details are in the description field. But let's say I have finished one whole section. So let's say right now I have finished this whole section here and I'm ready to start my next section. So in the next section, again, we're going to start with the, it's always going to be this darker color, two rows, lighter color, two rows. So let's say I'm on row one of the next section. And again, the first row is just a knit all the way across. So I'm going to knit all the way across. And now we're going to flip it. So now instead of doing a knit for purl four like we would have done in the previous section, we can do the opposite. We're going to do a purl four. And then a knit four. And keep doing that till you get to the end. And then in the end, you're gonna end in a pearl four. And then for row three of the second section, again, you're gonna switch colors. So take this color to the back. You're gonna take your main color, and you're going to knit all the way across. So row three of this next section is also a knit all the way across. So that's what makes this pattern really simple. The rows one and three in every section, it's always just going to be a knit all the way across. And then row four in the next section is going to be the opposite of what it was in the previous section. So it's going to be a knit four, purl four for this color, for this lighter color. So we're going to do a knit four. And then a purl four. And you're going to keep doing that till you get to the end. Um, I'm not going to finish this for the interest of time, but you're going to keep doing that till you get to the end. Once you're done with that section, then you essentially repeat what you did in section one, repeat what you did in section two. So as you keep repeating those two sections, you're going to form these bands or these rows of the checkerboard. And once you get to the end, um, again, the pattern tells you once you get to the end, then you're just going to do a regular bind off in the main, in the main color. Okay. And so, you can actually knit a whole big blanket if you wanted with this pattern. And um, once you do a little bit, a small swatch for your gauge, you can try and uh, you know increase the number of stitches. So you could have a blanket that has like 200 stitches and sections of you know 20 stitches in each section and, and bigger squares to get your checkerboard pattern. Or like I said, you could do a scarf, um, really anything with this. And I'm gonna try and, um, and experiment with this and try to actually design some patterns so that you can actually have checkerboard patterns with little hearts in them or um, or just any design really so that when it's held at a certain angle the design actually becomes visible so I think that is really cool um, so I hope you give this one a try um, let me see if there were any other points I wanted to tell you about this I think I think that is it but if you have any questions, please leave me comments in the comments field. Um, I love reading your comments and I will do my best to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe and click the notification bell so you um, get notifications of all the videos as, as soon as I post them. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos, supporting my channel, and happy knitting!